Okay guys, today we're putting in a GFI socket and first thing we want to do is shut this power off here. So make sure the breaker shut off there. I've already done that. And uh, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to pull these, uh, pull the socket out. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a GFI with a double socket because it's close to the sink here and uh, anything within six foot of the water should have a GFI. This is old school and we're going to put a new big uh, wire mold uh, junction box and cover over it and so you can always wear gloves uh, but always be aware of the shock factor the shock factory and so this one is actually <coughs> got a ground on it so that's good so we're going to have to disconnect this pull this box off put this box on pull one of these in and that in and I'll show you that. okay so we got the old box off and we're going to put this thing on here and it's got a little cut out place here on the bottom and cut out so that will go kind of like that first we need to put the, uh, the base on like that, screw it into the wall and wire it up. Okay, so here's basically how it's wired up. We wire this up first. This has got the yellow strap, tells you the the line or the load edge. Uh, this one here is the line edge. This is the input basically. This one here is the output. What we have to do is we have to put a kind of a jumper wire on one of these, on both these, and run it over to the outlet or the load side. And uh, if you notice, this is the way I put these in this way. So typically what hap what the saying is, is if, this, if something were to fall on the top of this, say, say this would accidentally fall on the top, it would hit the ground. And if it were upside down, it would fall on it. And if you had a loose plug and something fell between it, then it would short these two out. That's why I put these upside down. Because if something were to fall on it with a loose plug, it would hit the ground. Um, that way and then trip that breaker. It would trip the breaker either way, but theoretically if something fell on the ground then it would less, be less of a hazard than if it fell on both these other ones. So that's the way I put that on. So, and we'll finish up here now. Here. Okay, so I had to get a different cover, but it's in there. And uh, let's give it a try. Uh, we're going uh, to end where we started. And I didn't have a picture of where we started, but it all starts right here. So this should be turned off first thing before you mess with anything. I'm going to turn it back on. Staying on, that's good. I got some 2x4s. I'm going to put a rail across there. And so here. test here so it's on it's doing its thing let's plug the radio and see what happens there's my C crane radio I love this radio okay let's see what we've got here did I okay, there it is Okay, it's working. Uh, so, you can always check it with a meter to make sure it's off when you turn it off. Wear gloves, even though it's off, practice like it's on. They have these, these are the electrical probes. You can turn this on. This one is actually, um, yeah, so basically if you have electricity and you have one of these and you put it in here, it should beep. But this one has gone haywire on me. It's brand new. I don't know why it's not working right. But uh, anyway, this is whatever the temperature or the electrical probe. You can buy these at any hardware store. Stick them in there and make sure your breaker's off before you mess around with it. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, you can contact me, 707-443-8347.